Hello everybody, welcome back. Scott Lang, aka Ant-Man, is one of the most charismatic and powerful MCU heroes. He's managed to make his way from an ordinary criminal to one of the mightiest defenders of the Earth. And now, we'll recollect the most important events in Scott's story. 2015's Ant-Man shows us Scott Lang, a former robber who's been recently released from prison and wanted to get out of his criminal business to focus on helping his ex-wife to raise their daughter. However, everything went wrong when the young man got fired from terrible Baskin-Robbins. Fired? Yeah. Dale, look, it wasn't a violent crime. I mean, I'm a good worker. No, it wasn't a violent crime. It was a cool crime. Because of this, Scott agreed to make quick money by breaking into the Pym residence. However, when the robber opened the vault, he found nothing but an old, weird suit. It's a suit. What? It's an old motorcycle suit. The next day, Scott discovered he had stolen not an ordinary costume, but a unique technology. He accidentally used it to shrink to a tiny size. Luckily, the shocked and confused man managed to deal with his first experience as Ant-Man due to Hank Pym's guidance. Nonetheless, Lang decided to return the suit back, but he got arrested while trying to leave the Pym residence. You are under arrest! No, I didn't steal anything! I was returning something I stole! Hank helped Scott escape from the prison and explained to the young man his role in Pym's plan. Absolutely. My days of breaking into places and stealing shit are done. What do you want me to do? I want you to break into a place and steal some shit. Scott met Hank's daughter, Hope Van Dyne, during his training, learned to use the suit and control ants, as well as improve his combat skills. In other words, you have to know how to punch. I was in prison for three years. I don't know how to punch. Terrible. You want to show me how to punch? Show me. <laughs> In addition, Pym decided to test Scott's skills by asking him to get a signal decoy held in the Avengers compound. Thus, Ant-Man met Falcon. Hi, I'm Scott. Did he just say, hi, I'm Scott? Luckily, Scott defeated his opponent, found the device, and successfully escaped from the facility. It's really important to me that Cap never finds out about this. Lang's main mission was to enter Pym Technologies' headquarters to steal the Yellow Jacket suit. Although everything went well during the first stage of the heist, things changed when Darren Cross revealed he knew everything about Pym's plan. And after a short fight, Cross injured Hank and escaped from the facility with the costume. Ant-Man was doing his best to stop Yellow Jacket, who wanted to leave the facility on a helicopter. Scott succeeded, and after a mind-blowing fight, Lang managed to throw Cross into a bug zapper, electrocuting him. Suddenly, Jim Paxton, Scott's ex-wife's new husband, arrived and arrested Ant-Man. On their way to the police department, Lang discovered that Yellow Jacket had taken his daughter hostage. Soon, the superhero faced the villain again to continue their battle. Luckily, Scott chose the right moment, shrunk small enough to pass through the atomic structure of the Yellow Jacket suit, and destroyed the costume, causing the villain to vanish into thin air. At the same time, our hero continued becoming smaller, getting trapped in the quantum realm. Due to Scott's inventiveness, he placed the Pym particle disks into the regulator of the Ant-Man suit and got back to his normal size. Scott's successful return from quantum reality provided Hank with the hope his wife Janet Van Dyne might be alive. During the events shown in Captain America Civil War, Scott became a part of Steve Rogers' team. Wow, this is awesome. Captain America, I know you too. You're great. Together with Cap's companions, Ant-Man took part in the leipzig halle airport battle, where he faced all of Tony Stark's teammates. After the clash of the Avengers, Scott was taken to the Raft prison. Hank Pym always said you never can trust a Stark. Who are you? 
Come on, man. Fortunately, Steve Rogers helped his friends escape from jail, so Lang got back his freedom and the suit. The man decided to return to normal life in San Francisco and made a deal with the government to be placed under two years of house arrest. 2018's Ant-Man and the Wasp shows us bored Lang, who tries to have some fun during his home detention. But one day, after a strange dream about Janet Van Dyne and the quantum realm, Lang decided to get in touch with Hank Pym. The next night, Hope kidnapped her ex-boyfriend. In Pym's mobile laboratory, Scott met the professor, who showed him the prototype of the tunnel to the quantum realm. Lang told him about his dream again, proving that Janet was alive. The reunited team went to Sunny Birch to get the part necessary to finish the construction of the portal. However, everything didn't go according to plan, so Hope needed to put on her awesome wasp suit and kick some bad guys' asses, astonishing Scott. Wings and blasters. So I take it you didn't have that tech available for me? No, I did. Suddenly, a stranger known as Ghost appeared, defeated both Van Dyne and Lang, and stole Pym's mobile laboratory. Despite Hank's concerns, the trio asked his former colleague Bill Foster for help. The man said the best way to track the building was to use the regulator from one of Pym's suits. After successfully finding the old hidden costume, the team discovered the lab inside Ghost's lair, but the villain managed to knock them out. Later, the mysterious enemy revealed herself as Ava Starr, the daughter of Pym's former partner. Luckily, Pym used ants to bring the situation under control, providing the team with a chance to escape with his lab. As soon as Hank and Hope opened the portal, Janet sent her exact coordinates in the quantum realm by temporarily taking control over Lang's body and consciousness. Janet? After that, Scott returned home to assure the FBI officers he hadn't left his house. Unfortunately, Van Dyne and Hank were arrested by the agents, which provided Ghost with a chance to steal the lab again. Scott helped his friends break out from the FBI facility, and they went directly to the laboratory. Pym managed to enter the lab and start his Quantum Realm trip while other team members were trying to defeat Ghost and escape from Birch. After an exciting chase and one almost drowned Ant-Man, the good guys finally got the lab and released Pym's couple from the Quantum Realm. In addition, Janet healed Ghost, and Jimmy Woo freed Scott from his house arrest. Did you want to grab dinner or something? I mean, because I'm free. Yeah, come on. Soon after the successful rescue of Janet Van Dyne, Lang joined his friends to take part in the experiment aiming to extract energy from the Quantum Realm to continue curing Ava Star. Ant-Man entered the Quantum Realm and harvested the needed energy but suddenly, he discovered that all his friends had disappeared, and no one could help him return back to the regular world. It turned out that Hank Pym, Janet, and Hope had vanished due to Thanos' snap. Luckily, in 2023, a rat activated the portal and released Scott from his quantum imprisonment. The shocked and confused man started exploring the new post-apocalyptic world shown in Avengers Endgame. And when Lang met his daughter, he was surprised to find out that Cassie was a teenager. You're so big. <laughs> After getting acquainted with the story about Thanos and his snap, Scott decided to visit the Avengers. Oh, hi. Hi. Uh, is anyone home? This is uh, Scott Lang. We met a few years ago at the airport. He met Cap and Black Widow to share his idea of building a time machine considering the principles of quantum physics. Are you talking about a time machine? No. No, of course not. No, not a time machine. This is more like a... yeah, like a time machine. With Bruce Banner's help, they started the time experiments. During them, Scott became a kind of test rabbit who turned into a teenager, an elderly man, and a baby. Somebody peed my pants. Oh, thank God. I don't know if it was baby me or old me, or just me me. Thanks to Stark, the team managed to build the time machine. After that, Ant-Man, Iron Man, Hulk, and Captain America traveled to the alternate 2012 timeline to get the Time Stone and Tesseract. 
All in all, the Avengers managed to create a nano gauntlet and bring all of Thanos' victims back to life. Together with other superheroes, Scott protected the Earth from Thanos and his army from another timeline. In 2023, Lang will return in the new Ant-Man and the Wasp Quantum Mania movie. This time, he and his team will face one of the most dangerous MCU villains, Kang the Conqueror. Probably, the movie will show us the new possibilities of the quantum realm, as well as more exciting adventures of this awesome superhero. Thank you so much for watching. If you liked this video, give us a like, comment, and subscribe for more Marvel updates.